And we are Two, Two Fat, Fat Bears. Bears. This is our weekly video podcast about weight loss on the South Beach Diet. Yeah. And this is week eight. The beginning of week eight. We just ended week seven. This is episode eight. <clears throat> yeah. We just finished week seven. And we've had some more good results again this week. So I know some of you people look ahead on the website and see what our weight is. Very good for you. But for those who don't do that, then you'll get to be surprised by our reveals in, after the end of each episode. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking a certain people. But anyway, can't continue. So today's show is going to be um, some product reviews that uh, of, of stuff we've purchased uh, for phase two of the diet. Yeah, and oh, and by the way, this is Memorial Day weekend in the U.S., so uh, we're glad to have you with us on this uh, big holiday weekend. We're going to have a bit of trouble today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're going over to my parents' house. And, and I'm making homemade ice cream, and uh, they're having hamburgers, and... What was it? Potato salad and baked beans and somebody's baking a cake. This is really going to be a test for us, isn't it? But what you do in these situations is... Moderation. Moderation. Have, Have a, a little, little bit. bit. Don't deprive yourself. Just yeah. And just don't eat too much and then get right back on your, yeah. on your program. That's it. Damage control. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news for us is we have the whole week to recover from yeah. it. So we'll, we'll, I think we'll be alright. So uh, if there's nothing else, enjoy the show. Okay, guys uh, and gals, as far as pasta, on phase two, you can start having pasta again. Uh, be sure it's something like this. This is the brown, the whole wheat pasta. So there's a label on the back that tells you the kind of fiber that's in here, which is what we're interested in, is the fiber, and uh, very low in starch. So this is that. This is the good kind of pasta you want. And then, as far as pasta sauce, you don't have to go with... with uh, in fact, it's probably not a good idea, is it, Tommy, to go with some of those so-called reduced fat, reduced sugar sauces, because it's really not. We found this. Tommy found this. This ragu brand is extremely good. I'm going to show you the label so you can see why. Tommy, point out why. It's the lowest in sugar with only 6 grams of sugar. I looked at uh, several other varieties of several brands, and they were all at least uh, 9 grams of sugar or higher, some as high as 18 grams of sugar. So. This is a good choice. Yeah, I know these are pork grinds, and they may not necessarily be your, your favorite food, but uh, these are pretty useful on a low-carb diet. Um, Atkins is, is very strong about saying you can have these, and he says that uh, even though they're fried, most of the fat has been fried out, and they're, you're left with basically a fat and protein matrix. So if you look at the nutritional facts, it's uh, 5 grams of fat, um, 7 grams of protein, it's actually got more protein than fat and no carbs. Now the fats are not non are not trans fats, so they're all the two and a half grams of saturated fat. So that's uh, better fats than than uh, a lot of chips. And I prefer those the with hot and spicy. And both of these are are just as appropriate on South Beach, which that's what we're about. But we use these when we were taking Atkins too, and and. So I, I think they're okay for South Beach. Yeah, the other thing is uh, sometimes you will find recipes that call for pork rinds in place, uh, ground pork rinds, that you would put them in a blender, in place of breadcrumbs. So like a meatloaf or a uh, we have salmon, salmon patties. Salmon patties. Mm -hmm. And we'll have that recipe on the site soon. So uh, Salmon patties made with pork rinds. One of the things about South Beach, especially in phase one, is that you can't have a lot of nuts as a snack, but you can have some. However, it points out that you can have like 30 macadamia, I mean, I mean 30 pistachios. Well, what I did, well, we, we bought a couple of really big bags of it, and we, I got little, little sandwich bags out, and yes, I did, I counted out 30 pistachios, because it's really critical that you be really strict the first two weeks. So I just put 30 in the bag, and I just made a whole bunch of them here. And so it just, it's grab and go. It's really easy and cheap. I was watching an episode of Blaine's Low Carb Kitchen on the Fit channel, and he was making a recipe that called for sugar-free honey, and I'd never heard of such a thing, and we actually found it at the grocery store today. This is uh, Honey Tree's Sugar-Free Imitation Honey. Now, it is, it is not exactly sugar-free, but it's made with uh, sugar alcohols. So if you can handle sugar alcohols, you can use this in recipes. But most people find that uh, maltitol and whatever doesn't impact their glycemic index or their blood sugar levels. So this is good for honey substitute. 
Okay, and uh, sausage. I love sausage. And this brand is uh, Jimmy Dean's, and it is it is a reduced fat, and you should get that instead of the regular kind of sausage. And uh, this sausage here is uh, is actually turkey sausage, but you kind of have to watch how much you get. Tommy, get a close-up. So eighty percent less fat. Eighty percent less fat. Get a close-up of that label right there. It's upside down. No, it's right side up. Right side up. And do you see the? Point out the like the, it's got a good amount of protein, of course. Nine grams of protein, two grams of carbs, and three grams of fat. But there's seven servings in that link. Right, and that's the thing to watch. Don't go crazy with it. So you can have sausage. Now that we've started reintroducing bread into our diet, sometimes you want a little something extra on your half a serving of uh, English muffin and. This is sugar-free apricot preserves made of Splenda. And uh, we're, we're going to give that a shot later this week and let you know how that is. As we ordered the uh, pepper jack fondue for an appetizer, it came with all this uh, Parmesan garlic toast, rostini toast. But we're probably not going to have very much of that. We're going to work on the cheese with uh, tomatoes and basil. Doesn't that look delicious? Mmm. Tommy's going to have some right now. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, we're gonna concentrate on the on the cheese and the goop in there, and not too much on the bread. A little bit of bread, not too much. It's okay every now and again, right? Okay. Here we are. We just finished it, and see all that bread we left. Look at that. And we did do just have a little bit. Okay, then for our main course, we both chosen salad at an Italian restaurant. What a novel idea. You can do that. Now, in my case, I'm going to get rid of the bread. I'm going to take that off. But everything else on there is great. Bacon and chicken and cheese and plenty of lettuce and tomato. Okay, Tony, what you got? I've got the pecan crusted chicken. And I've got all these onion rings that I'm going to take off. I'm going to take those off. And it's uh, looks like a better spinach with Roman tomatoes and gorgonzola. Delicious. Delicious. Okay, and that's our visit to Johnny Carino's. So that was it for today's episode. Um, it looks like I'm, I'm going to lose right at 20 pounds this week, it's according, getting, according to what we've logged for the show. He's getting close. He's getting close, and I'm getting close to mine. And uh, our big goal was, again, 40 pounds for me. And 50 for pounds cruise. for me for the and cruise, cruise, which is in September. And we're three months away. Uh, just a smidge over that one. Three months in a week. Yeah. Away. So, less than halfway still. Mm -hmm. I got a new job this week, so Harry's happy. So, I um, can't wait for the to meet my goal, so I'm going to buy new clothes for my new job. There you go. I'm going to do that, too, instead of going out. Uh, and so, that's, that's a real week. All right. There you so, go. We'll see you guys next week, but visit us on the web. At twofatbears.libson.com. And it's L-I-B-S-Y-N. And, or email us at twofatbears at gmail.com. Harry's weight, 212.6. That's about two pounds down? No, about a pound and a half. Okay. That's great. Sounds good. And here's Tommy's weight. End of week seven, right, Tommy? 282.0. That's and a couple of pounds down. Two pounds down. Excellent. There you go.